Hey everybody, Don Dabney from Left Coast Classics, and this is just an amazing 1956 Packard Caribbean Coupe. And in this video, I'm going to take you around it, I'm going to take you under it, I'm even going to take you for a ride in it, so stick around. There she goes. We're up to 45, 50, 55, about as fast as I can go with the guy in front of me. Anyway, this it's so great to have this car back on the road. I uh, bought it in, I think, sometime in early, I think 20, spring of 21, and uh, bought a whole collection of cars from the same place. And they were just really interesting cars. This Packard was one of my absolute favorites. So we came through and we needed to wake the car up after years of sitting. The collector that had it apparently kind of took care of it while it was in storage. It wasn't very difficult to get the car back and road worthy. We went through, did the brakes. I know we had to replace the rear brake drums. I think we did almost all the brakes. Though we didn't have to do the front uh, discs. I think they're discs. We did a whole bunch of stuff to the car. I wanted to get it to where it was just reliable and drivable and, and it is. It feels great. It's getting down the road. It's running nicely. It's uh, just performing fine. Shifting great. There's a few things left to do. Like there's uh, an extra muffler in the trunk, a new one that needs to go on, but it has some other exhaust leaks. So the next owner is going to want to go through and address those. The clock and the radio are not working. And uh, let's see what else coming up on a stop here uh, but it is breaking well um, we are about to put a new temperature sending unit in it that we have I can tell you we have a new fuel sender in it but we still aren't getting a reading on the fuel so it may need the gauge done or it might just be a bad sender that we got otherwise lights horn everything working great we have a new wiper motor going in it's gonna be an original vacuum type wiper motor um, but yeah, anyway, it's pretty, pretty cool car. And this reversible interior, right now we're sitting on the original cloth and uh, the leather is unbelievable in the car. The whole interior appears totally original. I'll say with exception, I'm sure the carpet's probably been redone at some point, but wow, unbelievably well-preserved 56 Caribbean without a doubt. It's like even my blinkers are working here, which is so cool. I love it. Super fun to get this car back on the road. All the power windows are going up and down. This rear one sticks a little bit. It needs a little bit of a hand, so it may need a bit of an adjustment. The car needs a few little odds and ends, but for the by and large, you can get in this car and just start driving it. The one thing that uh, I just made a decision not to do, because I, I think car guys all want to pick their own tires, I just left the tires on it that are on it, and I don't know, some guys are going to want 
you know, a particular brand or whatever. So I just left these old bias ply white wall tires on it. I, I do, I, I can tell you right now, it'll make a dramatic difference in the drive when those get replaced because those are truly decades old with plenty of tread. This car's great. And you know, I have scoured the web. I cannot find one Caribbean coupe from 1956 for sale anywhere in the world. And I've learned that these are actually much more rare than the convertibles. So that was kind of a fun fact. All right, so there you go. Enjoy the rest of the video and uh, get in touch if you have any questions. Uh, the best way to get me is just on my cell phone uh, right here. Just you can call or text me directly there on my cell. Um, uh, there's a lot more content if you're on a third party site. Head over to my website, leftcoastclassics.com. Leftcoastclassics.com. Check us out up there. Check us out on three episodes of Wheeler Dealers. Super fun. My favorite car show in the world. Uh, we did an old 57 Ford Thunderbird back in the Ed China days. This one right here. We did a Lancia Fulvia, I think in 2018, and we did this really cool one owner Triumph TR4, and that was back. Uh, Oh, when was that? At the end of 2020. Check it all out. Get in touch and stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel and like it if you would. And get in touch anytime. Thanks for checking out this 56 Caribbean. Let's head under the Caribbean, and it's just super, super original. There's no rust, no rot. Beautiful inner rockers. It's been, uh, it's been preserved nicely, and I think it's just been kept indoors its whole life because there's just no rot, no rust. See up in those inner rockers. The floors are just fantastic. It definitely needs a few things. I tell you, we did put new shocks on the back. And uh, there's another muffler like this one that comes with the car to go there. But up here on the exhaust, the front area of the exhaust, that's kind of okay, but it, it has some holes. It just does. And this is the original exhaust. And I think a new owner might want to deal with that. We just didn't have enough margin in this thing to start going down that road with the exhaust. But we did go through, as you see in the description, and we did a lot to make it so you can go enjoy it and drive it. We didn't detail it under here. We haven't cleaned it. It's just, it's just the, the way we found it. Oh, I want to point this out too. This is important. The, uh, the motor for the uh, leveling, it actually works. We put power to it. It works totally fine. The problem is, is the uh, wiring is just, it's just toast. So it needs to get rewired to that. And it should be fine. Don't mark, you know, <laughs> Don't uh, hold me to my words, but we know that when we put power directly to the motor, it works. And all the stuff is here. Everything in the torsion system is installed, so that shouldn't be a big fix. Just something we, again, just didn't have the time and resources to keep going. So there it is. Great undercarriage on this car. To head around the lower part of the car with a just a really light magnet. Don't worry, it's got a little film on the back. Some people are like, oh my God, he's sticking a magnet to the paint. It's got a little clear cover on it. So as you know from the description, this is a, like a really, it's kind of a budget reap spray, which was done, I don't know when, but I would suffice to say it was probably in the 70s, maybe the 80s, I don't know. But it would have been appropriate at that time, given the value of the car at that time. So bear that in mind. And it was repainted the original Dover White with Naples Orange. Um, one Packard guy told me that it should have been triple with black at the bottom, I don't know. I haven't figured out how to decode that, but here we go. Really light little magnet. Sticking to everything totally great. I don't feel any filler in there. At least nothing the magnet would be revealing. It's grabbing it perfectly. 
Let's go to the rear quarters. Hang on. Excellent. Other side. This is just residue, it's not anything. Probably would rub out if I had a good detailer. It's sticking great everywhere. And this whole curve on this side also looks great the way it's supposed to. So I think we're good there, let's go to the quarter. You know, if somebody wanted to do a uh, cosmetic like exterior restoration, this is a great car for it. It's just very straight and I can't find any filler.